Hi, you're probably here because you saw a post or an ad or a mailing that said, get top dollar for your home. Even if your home's been on the market before, you can still get top dollar in today's market. I'm Stuart Sutton, Broker Associate at eXp Realty, and I'm going to show you the simple steps to do that. You may not, even if you've been on the market, have been exposed to these before. So let me show you just what I'm talking about. So let's get into those steps. You're probably thinking, well, I've probably heard these. Why should I watch this? Well, I guarantee you, some of these you have not. Some you may have, but I've been specializing in helping sellers who had a previous failure to sell for most of my career. And I help sellers get to a successful closing because we do things a little differently. Some things a lot differently. Let's start with these steps and begin with pricing. I never come to a home with a preconceived notion of value. Most agents do what's called a data-driven analysis. Kind of like Zillow. They don't ever come to your house and look at it and then decide what it's worth. They do it based on data. Same with the tax assessor. I actually come to the home. I assess the home. And every home has unique attributes. doesn't matter if it's the trees or lack of trees, the size of the yard or, or lack of the size of the yard, the updates or lack of updates. There's so many factors involved. So I use a little different method than just the price per square foot that most agents use. Hope that makes sense. We're going to use three different methods to find the best value range for your home. And you're going to know and understand what those are and why those numbers are coming up in today's market. I'm one of those agents, quite sincerely, that am not going to let you just use a super high price because that's what you want to get. If you're just trying the market and hoping to get over the market for your home, I'm probably not the agent for you. If you want to get the most for your house, you want to get the very best price in today's market, I can help you do that. I'm also not going to let you leave money on the table. That's very important to me, and that's one of the reasons so much of my business is referral business. So pricing is very, very important. If an agent's using price per square foot, or if they try to give you a price without really looking at and understanding your home, those are red flags. Let's move on to another step, which is preparation. Preparation is very important. I do feel that a lot of agents and sellers really gloss over this. We are very, very emphatic about making sure that your home is prepared properly because that is so meaningful to getting you top dollar. We do have an inspection, for example, and a lot of agents will tell you you don't need one. An inspection has so many advantages, it's a big red flag if an agent says that you do not need an inspection. Now, there are exceptions, of course. If your home is two years old, there's no reason if you have an inspection. That effort and time and money can be spent elsewhere. There's no doubt about that. But I do invest my personal funds in getting your house ready for sale. And we guide you through this process. It's not a mandate. We service each client based on the needs of that client in their home. So some of the things that we do, for example, are inspect the home, and then we provide a handyman or the needed experts to take care of those issues. And again, any agent who says you don't need an inspection because the buyer's going to have one or because you have to disclose is simply not up to date. They're not paying attention. They're not doing what's best for you because an inspection is a huge advantage, tremendous advantage. The two biggest reasons contracts don't get to closing are inspections and mortgages. And we make sure that we set aside the biggest obstacles so that we do get you to closing. We'll do aesthetic things as well, like some painting. Uh, we refinish a lot of doors, clean windows, clean carpets, house clean. We provide services, again, that you need. You might need something that other sellers don't need, and that's okay. We're looking to provide what helps you get your home in its best showing condition to get you top dollar. And then we move to presentation. Presentation is simply how to buyers see your home online. Well, most agents will do a package of pictures, and I'll tell you behind the scenes, the reason agents do a package of 25 or 40 pictures is because that's what fits into the MLS, or their budget allows a smaller set of pictures. Can a home be shown with a smaller set of pictures? Yeah, it can. But we send our photographer out and say, take unlimited pictures. Take as many as you need. We've had pictures in excess of 100 on a single home before. 
and then we use either all or the best ones. We also do multiple videos, not just a virtual tour that most agents do, including a 3D walkthrough tour, buyers love that, voiceovers, individual attributes of the home, like a video of the outdoor kitchen, a video of the pool, a video of the media room, whatever the case is. We want to make sure that the buyer understands what attributes your home has compared to other homes, why they should buy your home compared to another home. The more information we can give them, the better chance that they will be interested in taking a look at your home. So when someone comes over to see their, your home, they're just a better qualified prospect. So we don't limit the number of pictures, the number of videos, and we use multiple placements. So we're not looking at a set of pictures in a virtual tour. We're looking at multiple videos for multiple reasons and multiple attributes of your home. I hope this is making sense. And then the next P is promotion. Where's your home being promoted? Now, of course, we'll do everything everyone else does, which is Realtor.com and Zillow and the main websites. For example, if you choose an agent from Company A, a big franchise, or an agent from Company B, another big franchise, they'll both have your listing on their website. If you list with Agent A, your listing will also be on the company website of Agent B because data is shared. Well, in addition to that, we build out specific pages for your home, specifically for your home, so that we can provide all the content that goes way beyond what's on a website, way beyond what's on Realtor.com or Zillow, way beyond what can be provided on typical real estate outlets. So you're going to have individual pages built for your home. I hope that makes sense. And one other thing I'm going to add is communication. We find that there are five main reasons that sellers aren't going to relist with the agent they had before. And one of those is communication. As a matter of fact, that's the biggest one. Our communication guarantee is real simple. If we go any given week without communicating with you, we'll reduce your commission. And we'll do that as many times as we fail to meet that criteria. We don't ever fail to meet that criteria, just so you know. I actually have a private page that we put up that you and I have access to, and we can go back and forth, and you can see all the information and all the services and everything we're doing to help market your home. So the communication is absolute. And last, let me just point out that there are a set number of reasons that a home didn't sell. Having specialized in homes that failed to sell previously, for most of my long career, we've identified and we understand and know those particular reasons. We know how to solve those particular reasons and get you to a successful closing. We'll answer any and all questions you have on that if we have the opportunity to meet. I've popped another video up here real quick. It's about our buyer guarantee. It's called Love It or Leave It. Take a look at that video if you'd like to. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. And hope to see you on another video.